Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video here is help you get started on your project two. This is your, this is your final project of the class and it involves us to do some uh, hypothesis testing and construct a confidence interval. Okay, so here's the uh, scenario for, the, uh, for your final project. All right, so you've been hired by your regional real estate company to determine if your region's housing prices and housing square footage are significantly different from those of the national market. Okay. The regional sales director has three questions that they want you to address in this report. Uh, one, they want to know, are housing prices in your regional market higher than the national market average? Okay, so what this question here is asking you to do is it's asking you to do a one-tailed um, uh, hypothesis test or a right-tailed hypothesis test. Next question says, is the square footage for homes in your region different than the average square footage for homes in the national market? Okay, so what they're asking you to do in question two here is a two-tailed hypothesis test. And then finally, uh, for your region, what is the range of values for the 95% confidence interval of square footage for homes in your market? Okay, so they're asking you to do a confidence interval. Okay, so again, what you're gonna need to do this is you're going to need to scroll down here. Uh, you first, you'll need to use this template uh, to write your project. So unlike previous weeks, I'm not going to have a, a sample project for you, um, but this video will, will walk you through all the Excel work for it. So you can see it's asking for introduction, uh, your one-tailed test, your two-tailed test here. Um, it's asking you for the confidence interval right here and to summarize your conclusions. Okay, what you're going to need is you're going to need this, this data set right here, the house listing price by region. So I'm going to select that. And what you're going to see here is it's going to have down at the bottom, it's going to have all these different regions. Okay, so you're going to select one of the regions. I'm going to select the West South Central region here. So hopefully everyone else selects a different region, but you know, this is the region I'm going to work with. And it's going to ask you to compare it to this national statistics and graphs report here that this is the same, same little PDF file that we've been working with in each of these projects. Okay. So let's, let's, let's start with this. Um, so the first thing it says here, um, or one of the first things here we're gonna need to do is find a sample. It says take a random sample of 100 observations from your region. So here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna clear out this first, first, first four rows here, and I'm gonna put a new column here called random sample. And to do this, we've been using this equals rand function. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy it all the way down to the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column, I'm going to go to data, and I'm going to sort. And it's going to give you a random sample. Okay, you can do this again, you'll get a different set of, set of values here. What you're then going to do is it's going to ask you to select the first 100. So you have to actually go to cell 101 here because you have... Um, a header in the top cell. So I'm just gonna you know, put a nice little bracket around it. And what I like to do, you don't have to do this, it just makes some of my calculations easier, is I'm gonna delete all the old data that we don't have, that's not part of our random sample, okay? And then it goes back, and one of the first things you're gonna have to do to be able to do the hypothesis testing here is you're going to need to do um, uh, the summary statistics, okay, for your for your variables here, and the two that you're interested in are housing prices and square footage, okay. So I'm going to need summary statistics, so summary stats for housing price and square feet. And what we're going to need for each of these. I'm actually going to move them here. Sorry about that. What we're actually going to need for each of these is the mean and the standard deviation. All right, so for housing prices, it's equals average. And then if you've deleted the previous, the data that's past cell 101, you can just select this column and close it, and it'll give you the average. And then for square footage, the average, I'm going to select here, and I got that. For standard deviation, it's going to be stdev.s because it's a sample. So we're going to need to do that for housing price and also for square footage. 
All right, so I've got this nice, nice table here with these summary statistics, okay? All right, so the first thing it says is, are housing prices in your regional market higher than the national regional market? Okay, so you're gonna have to look here. Here is the mean price um, uh, for the median listing price in the national market. So it's 2888, So the national market, 288407. And look, this is a weird case here where um, my sample mean is way less than the national market. So we can't say that um, uh, my housing price mean is higher for sure. I mean, there's just no way. It's, it, my sample mean is less. But we're still going to have to go through the tests. We're going to let mu equal the mean. Uh, housing price and here we got the west south central region and the one tail to the one tail test here it's going to be it's going to be h sub zero is that mu is equal to 2888407 eight, and the alternative here is going to be uh, we, we want to test to see if it's higher so what you need to do is you need to compute a test statistic well, that's the housing price minus the mean actual in the in the national market divided by uh, the standard deviation of housing price divided by SQRT, the square root of the sample size, which is 100. And you're going to get this crazy test statistic. In my case, it is. Yours might not be like this. So the p-value here, um, to do this, it's going to be a right-tailed test. So it's equals t.dist.rt. So this is going to be your x value you're going to plug in. My degrees of freedom here are 100 minus 1, so n minus 1, so 99. And you'll see my case here, I got a, it's such a large, such a large p-value because my test statistic or my housing price was so, so much lower than the national market. So in my case, you have to, the tech, the the project actually doesn't say what the um, directly what the level of significance is, but we'll assume it's it's 0 0.05. So look here, we're going to, to fail to reject the null. All right, and this is because the p value is greater than greater than level of significance. So what that means basically is that um, the first question here, are housing prices in your market region higher than the, the national market average? No, no, it's not. Okay. Um, we can't say that it's greater than. All right. So the next thing it asks, um, is the square footage for homes in your region different, different than the average square footage for homes in the national market? So if you look here, square footage is 1944. So here we're gonna let mu be equal to the mean square footage in the west, south, central region. And here it's gonna be a two-tailed test. It's gonna be, we're gonna to check to see if it's equal to 1944 or 1944 or mu is not. Okay, so we're checking to see if it's different here. So that's why it's gonna be a two-tailed test. To do your test statistic, it's gonna be the mean that you get minus the national mean divided by the square footage divided by SQRT, square root of the sample size, which is 100. And I'm gonna get this uh, 3.54. Um, so the p-value here, it's gonna be equal to t.dist.rt, or um, 2t, I'm sorry, 2t. And this is important. Um, it only takes positive numbers. Here, like for example, if, if just suppose my test statistic had been negative 3.54, you'll notice it won't take it. 
So what you need to do is if you do get a negative number, just make sure you input a positive. So equal t dot dist dot 2t, your test statistic. But remember, if it's negative, you have to put in the positive. Degrees of freedom are the same. And look here, the p-value is way less. So we reject the null. And what we're saying here is uh, this is because the p-value is less than the level of significance. And what we're saying here is, yeah, yeah, uh, to go back, is the square footage in your region different than the average square footage for homes in the national market? Yeah, our average is different. Yeah, we can say for sure that this mean implies that there's enough evidence to say, yeah, the square footage in the west, south, central region on average is higher than the national market. And then the last question says, uh, for your region, what is the range of values for the 95% confidence interval of, of square footage for homes in your market? So you're going to need to find the, so this is the 95% CI. You're going to need to find the margin of error for this. And to do this, you're going to go equals confidence dot t. Okay, and it's going to ask you to put in some things. So your alpha is 0 0.05, okay, because it asks for a 95% confidence interval. The standard deviation is the standard deviation up here for square footage, and the sample size is 100. So that means the lower bound of your confidence interval, it's equal to the mean square footage minus the margin of error, and the upper bound is equal to the mean square footage plus that margin of error. And look, this is what we can say. We're 95% we're confident that the mean square footage in the west, south, central region is somewhere between 1,944 feet and 2,120 feet, which also supports our, our um, two-tailed test here, right? Because if you look here, 1944 is outside our confidence interval. So for sure, we can say that the mean square footage is, is higher in this west, south, central region. Okay, so what you have to do, uh, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna save this Excel sheet and attach it to this, you know, wherever this video is posted so you can see it for reference. Um, you know, the good news is, is, you know, a lot of this work here is done for you. So um, I'll, I'll clean it up a little. Um, but you, you know you can see the analysis you need to do and basically your numbers will change you know once you have your random sample you can you can even put it in here and, and my cell references will work for you um, so that's another way you can tackle this problem but i'm also here to um to help you if you have any questions i know it's the last project so if you if you need anything just email me or post to the general questions forum